Hey, welcome to another match. It is a bit unfortunate I can't run out these histories of Benalia, but I do have a treasure map. A treasure map is really good on turn two. I'm absolutely going to scry on turn three. All right, playing against black, green, something with Thorn Lieutenant. Not that, I want to land. Perfect. Let's get another treasure map out here. Scry for a plains. Not the Immortal Sun. Not as our gateway. Then play that tapped. And I will have tons of mana next turn. I would not mind a Daphne Clarion. Don't think I need Pirates Pillage. Definitely Clarion. Come all right with that. And I'll just run that out there before I take too much more damage. I want to keep my life total up a little bit. It's a bit of a shame I used a treasure, but eh, it's fine. I've got two treasure maps and an Archer Varazka. I'm not in danger of running out of card advantage anytime soon. Jade Light draws a swamp and it shows a Jade Light. I shouldn't have X'd off that swamp because he's still good in the hand. He's probably going to play it though. Fine finality gets back both of the Thorn Lieutenants. Okay. Uh, let's scry with the treasure map. Put this on top, I could cast both of the history of Banalias. It actually seems pretty good. Because this way, both histories are going to go off at the same time, so I'm going to have um, four, six, fours attacking in a couple turns. So no cast down, true and overgrown tomb. I'm going to take that. Cleansing Nova is nice. Pirate's Pillage is also fine. I 
think I'm just going to cast down the, uh, the Jade Light Ranger. Pirate's Pillage is actually really sweet when you've got two treasure coves going. That's just a lot of cards. I've also got a few Bane Fires to chuck at its head once I need to. But for the moment, the double history of Benalia going off is going to be a uh, really good. So it's going to be a lot of chump blocking, or he's going to take huge quantities of damage. And if he takes huge quantities of damage, these Bane Fires are certainly going to end his life. Huh. Five for a Vivian Reed. Huh. I feel like that's not going to end well for him. Oh, and he misses on the untapped land to play the second Thorn Lieutenant? Yeah. Ooh, more treasure maps. So I think all of these attack him, and this will also attack him. You know, I just, uh, whatever. I don't care about Vivian. Yeah, I'm going to kill my opponent. Because if he, if he blocks the Direfully Daredevil, he's taking 18 at the minimum and straight dies. If he blocks two, if he chump blocks twice, he takes 14 and still dies. What? Shit, did I declare the wrong target? I totally thought those were going after him, not Vivian. Shit. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Well, that's awkward. Um, I think instead of eating that treasure, I'll play another treasure map. Play another history. Oh, that was so bad. Oh, God. can't believe I did that. Oh well, I, I still think that despite the colossal fuck up that, that, that I just did, I'm in the lead. But definitely not by as much as I should be. I should have won the game by now. Oh, misclicks. That was brutal.
don't need to settle the wreckage right now. Do I want to throw away two knights to kill Vivian? I think so. This time I'm actually attacking Vivian on purpose, but man, does this feel bad. Honestly, I think my general plan at this point is just I have played a mountain. Uh, okay. My general idea at this point is I'm just going to keep playing lands until I've got 11 lands, and then I'm going to bane fire him for 10, and then I'm going to bane fire him for 10. don't like that. I really like a um That spell that kills all the things. Uh, Star extinction. How many lands do I have? I have... Nine lands? Alright. I'm gonna kill him over the next two turns. Turning Midnight Reaper. Okay. It's a Midnight Reaper. Thorn Tenant. Six. Give this plus four plus four.
that would be lethal. Really shouldn't have ditched that. Um, Deafening Clarion. Those in Oversight. All right, so he has lethal on me if I don't do anything. So I have to kill his creatures somehow. The first option is to Cleansing Nova. The second option is to Find Finality. If I Cleansing Nova, I have... I could Banefire him for four. And then on the next turn, I could Bane fire him for 12. I think I like that, so I'm going to destroy all creatures. And I'm just going to Bane fire for 4. Now, he needs to have duress or lose. Duress or, or a lot of life gain. I don't believe his deck is playing either. I don't think you play Thorn Lieutenants and... Um, the Wild Growth Walkers. Huh. Well, I've recovered this game from my horrible punt where I completely attacked with the wrong creatures. I mean, barring something really, really weird. Okay. Recovery successful. Um, definitely want another Deafening Clarion and a Cleansing Nova. I don't want the Lyras get down the Sealway, going down to Azur's Gateway. Do it like this. Um, he's got a lot of enchantment removal. I don't want to bring in Lyra, Lyras because of the enchantment artifact removal. Subtle Wreckage is probably good. Just kind of do it the same way I did that. Whew. Uh, that was a game. You can see in that game, though, the tre power of Treasure Map. Treasure Map's just an amazingly good card in this kind of deck. And that's one of the reasons why I was inclined to play this, is just because I looked at it and saw how good Treasure Map would be in this kind of thing. I was just like, ah, oh, this deck seems awesome at abusing this card. So we don't have a Treasure Map, but we do have Azur's Gateway. And do have a History Benalia on turn three. Um, more inclined to play Treasure Map than the Azores Gateway. I'm absolutely going to play History of Benali next turn. <sighs> Jade Light Ranger. Yes? No? Maybe? Why 
are you going to do? Ooh, he passes. And I drop deafening clarity. I'm going to play Azor's Gateway and try to get myself to some good spot where I can Deafening Clarion and kill a bunch of his creatures. He's setting up for a uh, Vivian Reed, actually. I should play History. Very worried about the Vivian Reed. Well, I got another Thorn Lieutenant out of it. Do I want a second Deafening Clarion? It does seem good against him. Bit of a shame I don't have a land, but oh well. Vivian. Ugh. That's pretty bad for me. It's probably going to kill Treasure Map. Got the Star of Extinction I need, but not the Mana to cast it. Not even remotely close to it. Probably going to get rid of this Dire Fleet Daredevil. And I have the opportunity. No, I'm going to get rid of Settle, probably. This game's definitely not going as well as I wanted to go. Well, if I draw land, then I can Pirate's Pillage. Get up to six mana, probably seven, for the next turn, and then Star of Extinction. But he's going to be up on cards quite a bit, unless he dumps his hand. Which is a possibility. Thorn Lieutenant is unfortunately quite good against History of Banalia, now that I think about it. Well, at least it's a very effective blocker for the History of Banalia tokens. He finds a Midnight Reaper. The Immortal Sun is an excellent draw. Get rid of the Dire Fleet Daredevil. That's not fun. On the plus side, he can't get rid of all of my ways to deal with Vivian Reed. So there's both the Immortal Sun and the Star of Extinction. I imagine he's taking the Immortal Sun, though. <sighs> Which does quite suck.
lose the immortal sun and he plays a Sure, I'll take damage from J Light, that's fine. Another Jade Light. Two duresses. Ugh. Shit. There go all of my answers to Vivian Reed. Well then. Uh, two treasures. Threshing bomb to dawn is very irritating. But if I can draw a land, I'll kill everything he has. And he will draw a lot of cards. And he's got a Vraska Relic Seeker in, on top. Well, that's no good. Um, I did that. Wait. 9, 10, 12. Yeah, I'm just dead. Not coming back from this far behind. He's been grinding out value with his Planeswalkers for ages. Alright. Um, do I want to change anything about this? I don't actually think I want to change anything. I just want to get a better draw. That was that one was a little, little clunky. Maybe I didn't play it very well. And I was on the draw, which not not helpful. Maybe I shaved the Dire Fleet Daredevil? I don't think so though. Yes, I want to play first. This hand's awful. I think I like I think it's a keep, but it's kind of awful. I've gotten a lot of six and one land hands with this deck. I feel like most of my matches I've either had one six lander or one f one lander. Azor's Gateway is an excellent draw. That's exactly what I needed. The Immortal Sun. Very nice. Thrashing Brontodon, play it. Hmm. 
He's going to draw a lot of cards. A lot of cards. Play another Lawnmower Elf. Lose 8 life. Alright, well, he's definitely getting close to Banefire range, there's that. Oh, duresses. I'm gonna get all my cards to rest. That's gonna suck. He has so many cards. Fortunately, he's only got five mana. He's probably gonna have to discard some stuff. Just play Vivian Reed, please. I beg of you. Just play Vivian and, and pass, and don't have Thrashing Bront on. Damn it. Alright, so now I want to draw another way to kill creatures. Because we really got to get rid of that Thrashing Brontodon. Lava Coil? Star of Extinction? Maybe he'll thrashing be the uh, the history. That'd be nice. Duress. Here it comes. All right. I don't see myself winning without star of extinction or a few bane fires. And I'm dead. He realizes that he can pump Thorn Lieutenant. 